Good morning. It is Friday the 11th. It's the penultimate day today, day six. So we've got today, tomorrow, and then overnight until uh, 5.30 a.m. on Sunday morning. So that's when the clock stops, 5.30 a.m. on Sunday. Um, so last night, Lee had a really rough night. Um, he had a terrible, terrible look with weather as usual seems to be the theme this week but he got an absolute downpour of rain um, he was wearing our coats on the bike to, to keep him sort of <laughs> I guess warm rather than dry because nothing was keeping him dry in that uh, got really cold and then suffered for, for a long while and still managed to churn out nearly 90 miles in that five hours but um, it's a lot less than we were hoping for but we're still okay we're still in a good position I forget what the numbers are, is it 635 six, left again? 635 miles left to beat the record. Well, that's to equal the record, which is, if we're doing it over two days, obviously that's an average of 317, 318. So, um, we're hoping today, the conditions are really good today. Um, just turn it to Lee a sec. The conditions are really good today, so hopefully um, we can make the most of these we've got amazing sunshine, not cloud in the sky, nice and mild and warm um, and the wind is fairly kind. We've got a block crosswind rather than having any sort of headwind today so um, Lee, Lee quite likes that, he quite likes the speeds he can do on the crosswinds. Um, what, so, what's yeah. the current speed? What are we cruising at? Current speed is 21 to 22 miles an hour nice. so really good speeds. He's in really good spirits today as well. He's, he had about five hours of sleep last night um, yeah, he's obviously sore and you know, chafing and all the rest of it that comes with riding a bike constantly for five and a half days. But um, yeah, he's woke up really in a really good mood. So hopefully we can have a nice start to the day, get some good mileage in. And the plan is to go into the night tonight. The conditions are really good tonight, um, as in overnight, almost into into tomorrow morning. So we're hoping Lee's in a position to make the most of that later. But obviously we'll see what his legs say. You literally could not write this. Uh, week this journey it's been an absolute series of unfortunate events yeah we got a flat tire what a day well it's half past four we're due to go back out again this evening we're on the on the graveyard shift so we're going to be out there until the early hours but uh, yeah I'm just speechless I just can't quite believe can't quite believe everything that's happened this week. Um, everything that could have gone against us seems to have gone against us. Um, so what happened today was we were out in the morning with Lee. Lee's been struggling. He's been going slower than we'd like, but still reasonable. We've done 100 miles, or he's done 100 miles in, uh, just over 100 miles, sorry, in six hours, which is a bit slower than planned, but it's still ticking that mileage off and uh, from a mileage perspective the record's still on um, but Lee's been suffering he's very empty um, he's been eating and drinking well um, sorted a few comfort issues out for him but his legs are just spent absolutely spent um, so he's giving absolutely everything at the minute I mean the mental battle that the guy's putting up is, is incredible to watch but um, halfway through the block we realized somehow we have the other car key which Jack and Christian were going to use to come out and meet us for the break we had that key in our car so the guys had a car at home with no car key so I mean that's the sort of thing that happens when people are tired isn't it but um, it happened so um, at the break time I dropped Sally off with Lee left them there we uh, I drove back I drove back to the house with the other car key, gave him the car key, and then we all drove back out in both the cars so that I could pick Sally up to take her home and, oh, sorry, back to the house. <laughs> it's home now. Back to the house, and um, they could be with Lee and do their block as planned. Got back to the brake point, um, got out the cars, rear right tyre on the car that usually goes out with Lee, completely flat. Completely flat, it's got a huge screw in it absolutely huge screw so um, at this point Lee had ridden off he'd gone because 
uh, we took it took about 45 minutes for me to drive back and then drive back out again so Lee had gone um, we swapped all the stuff over into the other car which took a while because there's a lot of stuff and a bike and other stuff to, to fit in um, we pumped the tyre up as best as possible with a bike pump with a track pump which got us to it got us far enough to a petrol station where we put some more air in it in the proper tyre inflator thing um, and that drove us to a repair centre um, there's a couple of cars there we sort of waited our turn and they fixed the tyre in about an hour so that was amazing absolutely dropped on there just saw this tyre centre at the side of the road wanged it in and just asked them to help us out and they did um, so sorted all that out got back to the house it's now 4 30 we've just got back we should have got back at around 1 or 12 30 so we're about four hours behind on our day so we're going to be extremely tired today after we uh, go back out later but the important thing is lee's still pedaling lee's still moving the miles are still ticking away slower than we'd like and slower than planned but the miles are still ticking away and the world record's still on it's quite concerning how empty he is he's got very little left in his legs at the minute and we've still got potentially a day and a half 36 hours in fact 37 hours until the clock stops so he's still got a lot of pedaling to do we're about probably at this point assuming he's done another 100k since we left him we're about 800k off the record um, I don't know what that is in miles 800k off the record so it's doable we're going to have to pedal for a long time because the speeds have dropped well he's going to have to pedal for a long time um, we just need to work out how to keep him pedaling and um, that's going to be hard work I think so we're all just completely all in for Lee now um, I don't care if I don't sleep until we finish the attempt in another 36 hours we're just going to give everything we, we can to to help him support him and, and gain this world record because we've all put we've all put so much into it Lee's put a tremendous amount into it but we've all put everything into it that we've got this, this week and before this week we've put a lot of work in so we've not come this far to um, to miss out on the world record so we're going to make sure we take it now big day and a half ahead right then this this is the strategy that me and Sally have just come up with to make sure that Lee Timmis breaks this world record. So, I feel a lot better now. This is a realistic strategy as well, so based on realistic speeds, speeds that Lee's doing now, and even less than speeds that Lee's doing now as well. So, um, everything's mapped out, everything's planned. The only thing that we'll tell Lee about this tonight is that a, he doesn't need to worry, he doesn't need to panic, we've got it all under control, we know what we're doing, we've got a strategy, and B, the only thing he needs to worry about is cycling 100 miles tonight. He actually only needs to cycle about 79, um, but we're going to tell him 100. So A, if he does 100, amazing, we've got 21 miles in the bank. B, if he doesn't manage 100, it doesn't matter and then we'll tell him that it doesn't matter afterwards but um, let's see if we can get him to cycle 100 miles tonight and finish by uh, half past two in the morning I think it is we need to finish by so that means we'll have been awake for around but well, if he finishes at half two we're not going to get to bed till about four and um, so we'll have been awake for 23 hours so uh, yeah but it'll all be worth it if we can get a world record at the end of it so strategy on Let's go and uh, let's go and see Lee. All right, so we're just sat behind Lee on our graveyard shift. Uh, what time is it? It's ten fourteen p.m. Um, so we are. I don't even know anymore. How many hours in are we? Hour and a half into our thing. We set off at. Oh, sorry. No, we, we set off an at. Hour. Yeah. So we we set off at ten past nine. So we're about an hour in. And yeah, we told Lee the bits of the strategy that he needs to know now. And um, we told him what we want him to do tonight, which is 100 miles. And 
he's pretty happy with that. He's happy we've got a strategy. He's sort of he wanted to know a bit more than he needs to know, and we didn't tell him because all that he needs to do right now is ride 100 miles tonight and get to bed. So that's the plan. Um, and he's set off really, really well. Um, it's as if a switch has been flicked in his head and he's found some speed from somewhere so yeah really impressive at the minute hopefully we can keep this up and get him to bed at a good time get a couple of hours sleep and then smash out the rest tomorrow but yeah positive signs so far all right we're just sending lee on his way he's had a little power nap So this is where it gets a bit dicey because we're, we're walking a bit of a tightrope around getting some mileage in and uh, keeping Lee safe. Um, he's done enough of these things to sort of know when he's not, not safe and he said himself there that he was getting a little bit unsafe. So we came alongside him, asked him how he was. We could see he was weaving all over the road asked him how he was and he said no let's let's have a, a 10 minute nap so we pulled alongside had a 10 minute nap now he's going to get on his way and we're going to see what happens um if he goes back to weaving all over the road again oh we've given him a, a caffeine tablet as well but if he goes back to uh weaving all over the road again we're going to sort of pull him off and, and take him home basically because it's not worth it he's no good to anybody at the side of the road or on the deck so um we're going to see how he goes. If he can ride, it, great. If he wakes up after this cabin tablet and the, and the nap, then great. Um, if not, we're going to drive home and start earlier tomorrow instead. So uh, either way, it shouldn't make a difference. We're going to get the hours in and hopefully the mileage in as well. But um, yeah, we'll see how we go. How are we doing, sweetheart? Oh, we are going through all the waves. <laughs> oh, I, I nearly fell asleep on the road <laughs> earlier. So we jumped in the car, had a power nap and um, a load of caffeine. A load of caffeine, and now it's just worn off. And you pissed it all out. Oh yeah, it's amazing what your body can urinate. <laughs> Okie dokie, it's half past one in the morning. Just had a good chat with Lee. Just pulled over the side of the road, starting to feel a bit sleepy again. Put some food in him. Had a chat about the strategy that we'd come up, come up with. And what we're gonna do is cycle half an hour back up the road half an hour back down to where we are now and then it's an hour home so we're gonna get two more hours of riding in uh, that'll take us to half past three in the morning um, more importantly it'll take us to maths 20 it'll take us to 100 miles I think. I think it'll take us to 100 miles for the day for the block sorry which will take him to oh just over 300 miles and um, we're just gonna keep an eye on him obviously for the tiredness again uh, it's really quite stressful actually when he's riding like this because um, it's a big sort of pressure if, if he sort of crashes because he's tired and we haven't checked in on him then um, you know it's sort of our fault but really he's the only one who can make the final decision but we just have to keep checking in on him, on him and making sure he's okay so I think he's just gone as he so right oh yeah there he is you can see his little light blinking away Good morning, it's the morning of day seven. Just sort of give you a little update or summary of day six. Um, it was really late when we got back and um, we, had, we just had to get Lee in bed as soon as possible so we got maximum sleep before today. So I didn't, uh, I didn't finish up summarizing the day. So Lee rode um, 100 miles in that last block, which is amazing. He absolutely emptied himself again. Um, and the total for the day was over 300 I think it was around 310 actually so um, that's put us in a really good spot for today like that is it's actually over schedule but that's fine because the schedule that we'd written up had us breaking the record by one mile at like 529 
So we've actually got some miles in hand now, which is nice. Got a little bit of a buffer on the record. Um, so yeah, we'll see what today brings. Um, hopefully it's a good day, obviously. Um, getting bitten by ants. Um, hopefully it's a good day. Um, just hope everything really goes to plan and um, yeah, we just finished this off because um, it's been a really long week, but uh, it's, uh, it is in a really good position now just to take this record. So fingers crossed for tomorrow or today.